Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Smooth Magic. We've got another uh, mini case here, sub case, if you will, of the Double Masters VIP boxes, which we're going to be opening up here. Very excited to be doing this again. This is a very, very fun product. A lot of highs, a lot of lows, but sort of like, you know, sort of like life. Now, as we open these up, I actually do want to call out a potential issue on the, uh, you know, the information has been floating around the web uh, from various sources, but I did want to make sure people are aware of this. So, uh, as you can see, these booster boxes do not have the VIP or the wizard um, shrink wrap anywhere. It's just normal shrink wrap. Compounded with that, the... Uh, the inner seals here, you know, the box here has some glue that actually can be quite easily removed and then re-glued. What that means is it's very possible for someone to open up a box just as we're doing here, and I'll, I'll actually demonstrate. So open up this. Again, if you race it, you race through this, it's going to tear, but you can actually use an X-Acto knife or box cutter or something to carefully peel that glue away. Then someone can easily take this pack out and through a little manipulation, shift these cards. You can kind of see, see we can already see if we really wanted to, we could see what the, the rares were. And then they only need to reseal the box up, put some more shrink wrap over it and sell it. So if you are buying these uh, VIP packages, please, please, please do make sure that you're buying from a reputable source uh, and preferably always buy by the case like that. That way, uh, you know, it's going to minimize the, the um, chances that someone has actually gone and resealed it. Again, that doesn't prevent it entirely. Someone can still reseal that outer case, but... All right, so just finishing up our our um, unboxing here, and then we'll get going. Future videos, what I'll probably do is pre-unbox everything, just to kind of speed things up a little bit. And our very, very last one. So of course we could always do these one by one as we all put them up. Um, but I kind of like to just kind of bulk put them out like that. So we're ready to get going. Last step, let's go ahead and open them up. Prime them for the opening. And there we have it. Let's start with pack number one here. And we're just going to set the commons off here to the side. Got the, whoop, missed an uncommon right there. There we are. And another uncommon there. Okay. Nice foil obulet. All right, the first one is the Sword of the Meek. Not a bad one to pull. And another Mana Crypt. We have been getting Mana Crypts left and right, it seems like. We've got the Lightning Greaves. And an Exploration. We'll just put all the foil stuff right there. Okay. That's a pretty solid box, I'd say. Or, well, not box. Pretty solid uh, pack. Alright, here we go. It's coming up. Imperial Steel Paladin for a whole lot of nothing. A Rolling Earthquake for likewise nothing. 
A cyclonic rift? And... Where does that go? A Cali of the Vast. Actually, we want to set these off to the side here. Put those right there. There we go. I'll find a system that works eventually. Okay. Now we get everything we need right there. Alright, here we go. Halfway through. There you go with the uncommons. Okay, here we go. Rare coming up soon. And we got a Shem... Shem <laughs> I can never pronounce that one. Shamaniac. Revelation. Shamanic. The Cyclonic Rift. The Council's Judgment. And a sad, sad brainstorm. Okay. Well, our... Uh, Box toppers haven't been hitting uh, very hard. The Kalia, Kalia, however you pronounce that, has been the only one that's been, I think, worthwhile. So let's see if we can hit a home run here in the close. It's all up to you. Last pack. The Maelstrom Pulse. A land tax, oh, that's a pretty good one. Nice little mythic there. And Urza's Mine, Ugh, not what we want to see. And you can see we've only got one mythic here, so that's kind of sad. And an Avacyn Angel of Hope. So there's our second mythic there, not, not too bad. All right, folks, thank you as always for allowing me to come into your homes and listen to some, some uh, settling tunes and open some really cool magic products here. So until next time, as always, we want to wish you all to have a smooth day.